Hello there, everybody. I'm Mr. Game and Pie, and today I'm with special guest Game and Roy. Hello, everybody. So yes, this is Let's Play Super Paper Mario Chapter Seven One. Last time we left off, we are at the Underwear Road. So yeah, good times. Yeah. Heading over to the over there. I'm actually uh, watching a video of this while you're playing it, so I can maybe, <laughs> maybe get a sense of what you're doing. Yes, that would be, that's a good idea, actually. <laughs> anyway, Love B is talking to Tippy about romance again. As, when I was looking for videos of a playthrough of it, Mm -hmm. I figured out a lot of people don't like, well, at least the guy that I was watching didn't like Love Bee at all. Eh, Love Bee's okay. Kind of annoying, but gets better at the end. <laughs> Tippy believes that she is unstable. Anyway, I'm heading into the underwear road itself. It is excessively dark in here. Yeah, yeah. There are these torches in the background, but we are lacking the firepower to do with anything with them. So I'm just hop- Oh, a hamster's underhand! Yeah, that thing just came out of the wall and attacked me. They're not just underwater anymore. Okay, just jumping on up. And there's those little things from, like, the first world. Again. Where they're spinning around and taking you all over the place. Oh dear, another underhand. So, seeing that they're not underhands aren't in the water anymore, like, what would happen if you tried to attack it just bounce off? Oh, uh, yeah, it doesn't work. You just smack into it. Oh, uh, okay. Wait, there's the dark boo. I gotta title this thing. Yeah, it's all right. Nice. Dark boos. Its max HP is 13, attack is 2. And, um, yeah, they basically teleport around all over the place and try to smack you with their tongue. Mm. Very fun, that. And here we have a door. Uh, tattle the door real quick, and it will start talking to you. Because it is a talking door! Weird. Yes. Very weird. Yeah, he's got to do routine checks because there's monsters going around and stuff. Now I have to answer questions correctly. Alright, these are pretty tough questions. D-Man A goes to the store and buys an equal number of tomatoes and eggplants. Eggplants cost 7 coins apiece and tomatoes cost 10 points to coins apiece. D-Man A has 50 coins, and he goes to the store, he comes out with 5 coins. Those are the facts now. Who is the most powerful person in the underwear? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's Queen Jadis. Has nothing, a ha absolutely nothing to do with the question. And then there's <laughs> more math that we don't need to read. You are... Door guy, the first. The because he's the first door. It's funny. Yeah. Okay. And now there's more math! Wait a minute, this one is actually important, I believe. I have to count every time he says apple. So, Panda A and Panda B, B, Bear B go to Apple Mountain for a day of apple picking. That's two apples so far. There are 120 20 apple trees, three apples now, on the mountain, and each has a 20 apple yield, four apples. It takes 10 seconds to pick each apple, five, while B takes 20 seconds to pick each apple, six. Those are the facts. Now, how many times did I just say the word apple? Six. Indeed. Yeah, so that's pretty much the only one that has math in it. Yeah, and even then, it's not the math that you would expect to have. Yeah. All right. Now, there's lots of shaking and rumbling going on around here. One second, I'm gonna switch pixels here to Barry! Mr. Superguard. All right, there's these demon trying to block this door. They have the key to this other door that's locked. But there's a monster rampaging all over the place in this room. 
And, well, they can't exactly stop holding the door. Oh. <laughs> so it's up to us to take down this monster. And, um, get the key to progress through the area. Yes, I can tame the beast, you silly thingy jiggers. Yeah, they don't think I can do it. But they suck you on anyways. Yeah. But I'm Luigi, suckers. I can handle anything. Alright, it's dark in here. It is. Very dark. And it's Grrrr! Suddenly, torches are alighting. And it's Bowser! He is not happy at all. Maybe you'll be happy to see Luigi. He really just wants to see Peach, though. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, basically what we have here is Bowser being annoying. Alright, let's tattle him, shall we? Yeah. Hi, Tippy. Tippy, uh-oh. My sensor bar turned off for some reason. Oh, that's not good. Yeah. There we go. Tippy, okay, it's Bowser, King of the Koopas, an arch enemy of Mario. His HP is 80, his attack is 8, and his defense is 2. He has spikes so you can't stomp on him. His fiery breath and stomp attack do a lot of damage. And, um, yeah, pixels and items basically win the battle. So, while I'm basically just, um, colliding with him, with Barry here, um, mind telling the audience what you've been doing lately? Uh, yeah, I've been... I have my own let's play going on right now over in, uh, my channel. I'm doing a Pokemon Rumble. Yeah, I'd say it's it. a pretty good let's play so far. Yeah, I'm enjoying it actually. But, and I recorded some parts today. And yeah, I'm getting pretty close to end game. That's cool. So, got you know, about maybe five more areas to go to, and that's about it. All right. I think Bowser here is almost dead. Oh, hamsters, he likes to just ram into me. So basically, I guess a berry then, you can just attack him while... Uh, yeah, basically. Yeah. I just use berry, ram into him. Can you attack him like, attack his uh, shell part though, whenever he's bending down to do the fire breath? Uh, no. Uh, I cannot jump on that, as I just accidentally demonstrated. Uh. Oh dear, I am in critical health. Oh dear. Okay, yeah. Doing my tactic is not a good thing to do if you want to stay alive. Yeah. The guy I'm watching and doing it is using carry. Ah, uh, yeah. That's probably a good idea. But I'm not going to do that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to use Kutch for a while. Bam! Oh, no. Hammer! 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 There we go, you're dead. Finally. Well, you see, you lose because I'm the player character. <laughs> oh, yeah. And Bowser now realizes that Peach could probably be in serious danger. So he has rejoined the party. Oh. I fought that battle incredibly stupidly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, these demon are in complete shock about my ability to not die. When you have Barry around, it's quite simple. Press 1 to not die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because that's the pixel button. So anyway, um, I'm going to switch over to Bowser here. Because we're going to go into another dark room. And having his fire powers would be very helpful. 
and uh, yeah, let's go in. Now, for those of you watching at home, get ready to see this next area a lot. We'll be going through it about three different times. Oh, and there's dry bones down here. But I can flame breath them. Yeah, so it, yeah I guess now you can actually kill dry Well, I mean, you could kill dry bones earlier, but yeah, without a pixel this time, I guess. Boomer. But Bowser can just take them out with flame breath. And this is a very long hallway. A vertical hallway. Yeah. I just used Barry to knock that guy off the edge. Uh-oh. Sounds like dark boos. Uh-oh. Underhand. Oh, that's not good. Oh, yeah. The, by the way, the thing that makes the underhands disappear is light. Oh, okay. So, burning the torches will get rid of the underhands in this area. So you can get rid of them. Yeah. But only if you have Bowser. Yeah. Okay, the hallway of verticalness is finally done. I'm just lighting all these torches because... And yet, there is another door. And my sensor bar has turned off again. That is <laughs> annoying. Is it a... Uh... Like out of batteries or something, or? Yeah, well, it uses batteries. I don't know if it's running out of battery power. But okay. So yeah, he's door guy the second. He's got to ask me some more questions. All right. This time we have a very cool monitor. All right. So there's a bunch of objects flying around. We gotta. Look at the colors and the shapes and stuff. How many red objects were there? Well, there were three of everything. <laughs> what? Oh, oh, he doesn't tell you if you're right or wrong yet. So, um, yeah, so let's see here. There's two triangles, four circles, three squares, three blue, three red, and three yellow. There were... Wait, how many triangles did I say there were? Three. Three? Okay. Wait, I think... Oh, well, is this the second question? Yes, this is... Well, now we're on the third question. Uh, well, I don't know, it might have been two, I'm not sure. Um, uh, well, let's see. There's three triangles on this one, three squares on this one, three circles on this one. There, there's three of everything. What colors were the moving... Uh, oh. Wait one second. They were all colors. I'm gonna go with red. Next question... This is question number four now. This is the last question. Look closely at the screen. Uh, four triangles, three circles, two squares, three red, two yellow. Oh, 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 uh, uh, triangles were most plentiful. Alright, he's analyzing our responses. And... We win! I, th I think. Answered 60% of the questions correctly. Oh, okay. It's the same as this guy got. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Those of you at home... Oh, wait, wait. Oh, that, that isn't enough. Oh. I have to answer all of them correctly, I guess. Oh. Yeah, that or maybe get, this, get a passing grade, you know? Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Okay, let's see here. This time, this is question one. Three triangles. Three squares. Three circles. All of them have one blue, one red, and one yellow. How many objects were there? Nine. Oh, wait, red objects. Oh, well, then three. Uh, okay, yeah, you're not gonna tell us for right. Um, let's see here. There's four red objects. Three blue ones, two yellow ones. Let's see here. The triangles, there's two of them. Oh, oh well, um, two. Good thing I noticed that before it disappeared. Question three. Um, three triangles. The blue ones are moving. The yellow ones and the red ones aren't. Which were the moving objects? Those were the blue ones. This is question number four. Okay, um, let's see here. Four triangles, two circles, two squares, I think. They're all moving all over the place. It's Three hard circles, to tell. I think. Well, the most plentiful was triangles. And we're done. 
And we get... I got perfect. Yeah, I thought you did. Yeah. The one that I must have gotten wrong last time would be the one asking which ones were the moving ones. Yeah, I think that's the one that I got wrong. But here we have an annoying part of the stage. And by an annoying part of the stage, I mean the annoying part of the stage. Alright, so we have these three hags here. And they all want us to do stuff for them, so that they will give us the key we need to progress. Th to do this, we will be sent back to um, different sections of the stage twice. Mm. Alright. So here we have our first setback. Return the book. And we get a book. A diet book, to be specific. <laughs> which appears to be a dubious fad, according to this D-man. And we are once again in the first vertical shaft. But this time we have flame breath, so we'll be okay. So... Um... Hmm. What do you want to talk about? Because this is just backtracking now. Uh, so basically... I'm only assuming, but every time you do like one of the hags requests, they you have to go back from that vertical shaft. Basically, yeah. Okay, yeah, I can see how that can be. I don't know, annoying, I guess. Oh yeah, it's very annoying. The only thing that makes it better is the fact that we now have Bowser to make the area light. Yeah. Well, you had Bowser in the last time, didn't you? For the vertical wall? I thought you did. Well, um, not the first one. Oh. The second one, yes, but... Oh, yeah, the one where, with the things. That, like, yeah. yeah. Oh. All right. And now we are in the second vertical shaft, which is much more vertical than the first one. That's confusing we're what talking you're saying like, there. Yeah. We're talking, like, straight up here. Yeah. Okay, Dry Bones, you just stand there and don't run into me. That's nice. <laughs> Thank you very much for your cooperation. Uh-oh, it's dark again. That means that the underhands are going to be appearing. Get off my platform. Oh, wait, so... Does the light actually, like, kill them, or does it just, like, make them go away? Makes them go away until uh, the light turns back off. Okay, so it doesn't... Okay. No, no. Not not permanent solution, but it's pretty good anyway. Yeah. All right, we're finally back up to the hag's room to do the second request. Oh, and give her that book. We kind of need to do that too. Diet book. All right. What? 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 Oh, we already got the door key. Oh. Okay, only need to do that one. That was quick. <laughs> yeah, ignoring the rest of you. I thought we had to do all three. Well, that's nice. Hmm. But there is still a bit more to this level. Including more flame breath. But yeah. Um, stuff. I think I'm gonna need Luigi here to get on these higher platforms. You really do get Luigi late in the game, but he's pretty darn good. Yeah. Uh, when I was actually like watching it through, I was like thinking I didn't. I actually haven't seen anyone play this game before, mm -hmm. and I was thinking like, when does Luigi come in? It's been a yeah. while, I guess. Yeah, he comes in like really late. Yeah. Oh, and I'm gonna actually need Mario for this part because flipping. Oh my gosh, I almost did not make that. There was one of those little invincible rolly guys going across me, and, um, oh. yeah, that, that was almost a thing there. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna switch over to Bowser here, real quick, and, um, go over to Kudge, because we're going to have a sort of boss battle here in a second. Sort of a boss battle, and my sensor bar turned off again. <laughs> what is wrong good. with you, sensor bar? Okay, it's another door guy. Mm -hmm. 
He's got to see if we're worthy to pass through, and we are going to be fighting the Underchomp. And this boss battle is pretty cool, because it's like Earthbound or something. Yeah? Oh, uh, okay. One second, people. We'll be back real quick. Alright, we're back. Indeed, and it's time to fight this guy. I'm going to be using, uh, let's hear, Kudge on the red underchomp. Because I am Bowser, this, it, it only took 10 damage? Why did I only do so much damage to him? Okay. Let's just see how a regular attack goes. Bam! I deal 10 damage. Well, he's defeated, at least. This looks very interesting, this battle. I'm kind of watch watching on the video, and it looks pretty interesting. Yes. It's like, I guess this is really the only true RPG battle in the game, huh? Yep. And, um, I have 3 HP left, so... Um, yeah. It's not good. This is not good. Um, I think I'll use, um, the shooting star that I have. So basically you can just use all the, s the stuff you could use, except mm -hmm. only once. Yep. Okay. That makes sense. Oh wow, that defeated them. <laughs> good. Mm -hmm. I received 6,000 points. And that actually does count. You really do get 6,000 points. Hmm. But yeah, I only have 3 HP left. This... Oh, so, so even like after that battle, he's still the same amount of HP. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, anyway, this is the end of the level, though. So, um, yeah. <laughs> it's a good thing that that ended when it did. <laughs> yes, I would like yeah. to save. I was worried I was gonna die right there, actually. All right. So, we had gotten out of the underwear. And there's a shiny blue sky. We're going to go over to the over there stair. Alright, so next time on Let's Play Super Paper Mario, Chapter 7-3, The Forbidden Apple. We'll see you guys then. Indeed.